Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... And a Capture Team helicopter. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does as good if it's operational. Hey Claire, we may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm.
copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two? Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge, and perhaps, opportunity. Transportation complete. <sighs> Whew, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. 
Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? We gotta monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this'll work. Trust me. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? You're not angry. You're simply acting on instincts. The more threat the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. to pick up the asset. Asset requiring collection. Picking up asset. Transportation in progress. Asset has been collected. Transit has commenced. Delivery complete. Delivery has
has been completed. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. So many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit.
Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Asset transportation underway. Commencing asset transit. Asset transported. Asset has been delivered. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only, you said it.
Owen. Owen, we have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? concerned about our current situation as much as I'd obviously love to help out I'm a little tied up so who's gonna protect the dinosaurs and our personnel yes of course I mean that goes without saying I'm saying it anyway it's just it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again and by tragedy I mean huge financial loss and obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one, round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then, we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Dr. Dua, the dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can.
just as an organization has key players, <coughs> me, <coughs> it also has key facilities that it needs to run effectively. So you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. Collecting asset. En route to collect the asset. transported.
Not bad, if I do say so myself. And I guess I am. But we're also going to need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. Huh? You see what I did there, huh? <laughs> response, response. <laughs> uh, never mind. Don't respond. Claire, we need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. Collection request received. En route to pick up the asset. Transportation underway. Transporting asset. Asset delivered. Confirming asset delivery.
they had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. This looks promising. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Everything points in this direction. but they're not so. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm, as opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. I feel like we are getting close. You okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. We have a helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? <laughs> we need success, Dr. Dua, before it can eat Grady and the others. almost under control, but the animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking.
Acknowledging asset collection request. And the herbivores? What about them? As long as they stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt? Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's something we're all gonna have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking, or is that the government? Claire, I am the government. I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. Thank you. 